Welcome back. Time now, 23 minutes past six. British scientists have developed a new test which could lead to children being screened for autism with a 15-minute brain scan. The pioneering technology has been used to successfully diagnose autism in adults. It's now hoped it will be adapted for children with suspected aut autism, many of whom wait for years for a formal diagnosis. He's, here's Aruj de Fritsche. It's a condition that can leave sufferers unable to speak and socially isolated. Yet the causes of autism remain a mystery. What we do know is that the brains of sufferers look different. Scientists have used that key piece of knowledge to build this picture of the autistic brain. And now doctors can compare a patient's brain to this image to diagnose the condition. We can then take a person who we don't know if they've got autism or not and ask the computer and say, how similar is that brain to someone we know has got autism or we know has not got autism? It can tell us with a very high degree of accuracy. Autism affects half a million people in Britain, including actress Emma Noble's son. She says the earlier it's diagnosed, the better. At the moment, many sufferers wait years for an accurate diagnosis. The biggest thing was to get access to the right provision for Harry, um, educational provision. Um, without the diagnosis, I think we would have been floundering. The scan takes just 15 minutes and costs as little as £100. It's been successfully used in adults and it's now hoped it will become available for children in two years. Autism campaigner Polly Tommy joins us now. Polly, listening to that, how encouraged are you? You have personal experience, of course, of dealing with autism. Yeah, well, it's really encouraging. It's fabulous. And if we can do anything to help for early diagnosis in the children, then that is going to be crucial because we know that the sooner that we can get help to these children, the better the outcome is going to be. So, yeah, great news. How is it diagnosed at the minute? What, what's the process? Oh, well, it's a lengthy process. It took, we were lucky, it took us only a year to get from beginning to end to get our diagnosis. But some people are waiting up to seven, ten years for a diagnosis, and it's just not good enough. Does that depend on how autistic you are, where you are oh, well, on I the think, scale? Well, I think the higher functioning ones are the ones that are getting missed mm. and are having to wait for, uh, much longer. Um, it was blindingly obvious that Billy had something drastically wrong with him at two, so it wouldn't really take much to, to know that he has something like autism but the ones are higher functioning the Asperger's the people on the higher level they're the ones that are getting missed definitely. I suppose one difficulty which you just mentioned to me earlier before we came, we came on air is actually persuading people uh, children uh, to, to undergo this kind of this kind of treatment. Yes I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how they're going to do this I mean uh, you would have to knock my son out I think to get him in one of those machines yeah. um, so I, I don't really know how they're going to do this with the children and, and obviously when you've got the ones with autism they don't understand and so it's going to be a quite a difficult procedure, I think, for them to do that. They need to be careful. But it's one that's going to save not only time but money as well because the, the actual cost of having uh, experts watch and assess a child over the period of time you're talking about is, is obviously pretty in enormous. Well, exactly. I mean, if it works, if this is real, and if mm. we do start to see something in the children as well, it's going to be fabulous, 15 minutes. Mm. Like I said, I have no idea how they're going to get them in, uh, in the scanning machine. But... Um, it's got potential and, and also it will lead to what causes it which we really need well, to know as well. That's the big thing well. isn't it because there's such a rise in the incidence of autism and we don't really know why. No we don't there's lots of um, different people with different theories but, but the thing is autism is so varied mm. it's so huge you've got some that say they're aggressed some that parents who say their child was born with it. Uh, you, there's so many different types of autism so hopefully when they look at doing all these tests they'll look at all the different types of autism. Absolutely with okay. fingers crossed. Polly good to see you again thanks very much indeed uh, for being with us. Uh, time now 27 minutes past six. Let's uh, catch up on